supporters of Prime Minister Hashim Thatchi are celebrating his party's win in Kosovo's historic election. The Central Election Commission announced that Mr Thatchi's Democratic Party of Kosovo got 33.5% of the vote. The Democratic League of Kosovo, led by Issa Mustafa, was second with 23.6%. Thatchi's failure to win an outright majority means he'll have to form a coalition government with some of his rivals. That won't be easy, says political analyst Krenar Gashi of the Kosovo Institute for Policy Research and development. The second, the third and the fourth party have openly declared that they don't want to enter any coalition with Prime Minister Thatchi. Thatchi's transformation from Kosovo liberation fighter to Prime Minister has come under the spotlight in a new investigation to be presented to the Council of Europe. The report claims Prime Minister Thatchi is the head of a mafia-like crime group known as the Dranitsa Group, responsible for assassinations, drug smuggling and even organ trafficking, arranged through clinics like this one near Pristina. Kosovo's government dismissed the report as an attempt to slander the country's leaders. Meanwhile, opposition parties are claiming election fraud and demanding reruns after an unlikely 95% turnout was recorded in two districts. But EU observers have praised the largely peaceful election. Christina Herodes is judicial spokeswoman for the EU rule of law mission in Kosovo. The security situation uh, was uh calm and quiet and uh, there were some incidents but not major ones. We had uh, around 500 police officers uh, to be ready uh, if something happened but uh, fortunately nothing happened. The biggest election flaw remains the boycott of the vote by ethnic Serbs in the north under pressure from Serbia. The government in Belgrade has refused to recognize Kosovo's independence since it broke away from Serbian control. Again, political analyst Krenar Gashi. It's very significant. For the first time, Serbia openly expressed its ambition for partition of Kosovo. And this is now slowly becoming the official policy of the Belgrade government. Prime Minister Thaci has repeatedly stated his desire for Kosovo to join the European Union. Apart from irregularities at a couple of polling stations, election monitors here say they are generally happy with the way the vote has proceeded. But the world will now be watching to see if a coalition government can be formed and whether that government has the strength to restart talks with Serbia and get this fledgling country moving. Henry Ridgewell for VUA News, Pristina.